Hey, what is up, Nightmare Corner family? Hope you guys are doing well. Happy New Year. We are in 2022 now. Now, this is going to be the official first video for 2022, and it's a really good one. I'm very excited to show you guys. So I got this bad boy for Christmas from my dad and my brother and my sister. They got this for me for Christmas, and uh, I got to say it is absolutely amazing. These figures are so cool. Uh, of course, it's from McFarlane. McFarlane does an amazing job when it comes to figures and stuff like that. But today we're going to be looking at the Sleepy Hollow. It's the three-piece deluxe box set from McFarlane Toys, and it was their feature film figures. Um, so we're going to be looking at the box, as you guys can see. We got a couple like shots from the movie, the story, the film, the figure. It's so cool that I was able to get this for Christmas and and. I'm just excited. So we got the Sleepy Hollow. You can see some of the other figures that McFarlane has done for Sleepy Hollow from Tim Burton's uh, movie. And um, we actually got the coolest one, I think, out of all of the figures that came out for Sleepy Hollow. We have the Headless Horseman, uh, On His Horse, Daredevil, and then we have the Tree Base and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to unbox this and to show you guys. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, stories vintage halloween you know i love it uh the headless horseman is definitely one of those iconic halloween characters and uh i mean he's just he's just awesome so i'm really excited we're gonna pull him out we're gonna see the whole base in the display and uh yeah so stick around hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell now let's get this bad boy out and take a closer look at the headless horseman all right so the headless horseman needs a head Let's start off. We're going to start with the with the base, the little vignette we got going on here. Um, now, I will say McFarlane took very good care at uh, packaging this thing. We had like a million twisty ties on this, but that's okay because you want to make sure that it's nice and secured in the box. But here we go. This is the tree. Um, this is kind of like a smaller version of the tree of the dead that the horseman comes out of. And um, very nice detailing. We have some pegs here that the horse would go on that's gonna uh, the horse is gonna stand in there daredevil um will kind of stand in there so that way he doesn't be falling over but this thing has a lot of great detail a lot of branches a lot of rotting and just dirt and decay and if we look closer here at the base you can see several of the heads that the horsemen have claimed over the years nice and decrepit decrepit in there skulls growing into the tree the base of the tree you got some leaves, nice little wet look there. But overall, this is a really cool uh, display piece um, as far as, uh, you know, being the base that it's going to go on. So I'm actually excited to see this bad boy put together. And uh, like I said, yeah, very nice detailing. You can see a lot of the vines, the wood, the trees. Um, and it's a pretty decent size. It's probably about eh, maybe a little bit, well, not a little bit, but a lot bigger than my hand. You can see how high the trees go or the branches go. And we got a nice little background there as well. So you got the trees to kind of encircle him, encase him into the scene. But very cool. Nice detailing. Got the previous victims into the tree. And it's looking good. So there's the base. Our next thing we're going to look at, because this, remember this is a three-piece set. This was one piece. And then the second piece, we're going to be looking at Daredevil, his horse. Uh, so the cool thing about this is that it is it's plastic however the neck is rubber so that way if you wanted to turn his head left or right you could and um, if you guys are taking this out of the box if you guys have one just be careful because when the horseman's in there he does have his uh, shoes into the uh, saddle things for the for the feet so be careful when you're taking them out you don't want to rip this off trying to get them off but very nice detailing on the horse too we got the saddle got the um i don't even know what you would call them but you know the spot for the shoes to go through we got some of the veins and the muscle and the horse and then here we go with daredevil his face and stuff and then of course there's like a little neck collar thing that he's got going on it's very cool definitely intimidating looking all black horse and that's daredevil right there um so i am gonna like you can adjust his legs and stuff like that to kind of give him that you know horse standing on the on the hind legs look but very cool like i said we can um 
we can uh, adjust them and all that good stuff. So once I kind of go over the pieces with you guys, we'll go ahead and I'll adjust it before you guys, before I show you guys the final look. But there's Daredevil. And put him to the side here. The horseman's trusty steed. All right. And of course, the man of the hour. It's the headless horseman himself, which is really cool. Now, one feature that this figure set has is that the horseman has uh, bendable joints at the legs, but they are hidden. They are hidden with the um, with the rubber. So he does have rubber here on his legs. And you got the spurs, nice detail in there. So that way you don't see the, um, you know, the ends or whatever, the joints um, bending um, at the leg when you put them on the horse. But very cool. We've got the gauntlets right there. We have his armor. And of course you can't forget the sword, the horseman's sword. That he uses to decapitate his victims and claim their head. And if we look a little bit, which you don't see in the movie because it was kind of hollowed out in the movie. But I'm glad that they added this because I think it would have been cool to see it. But you can see inside the neck bone and all the joints and ligaments from the head being cut off and all that good stuff. So that's pretty cool that they were able to add that like little gory part. But oh, very cool. I'm so excited to have this figure. Uh, if we turn it around... We also have his cape all nice and torn and decaying, which I always loved how his cape looked in the movie. It was it was so cool. But yeah, we got the rips and tears and then you just got kind of like the just the age of the cape starting to deteriorate and rotten and cut away. Some more of his gauntlet. So this is going to be really cool uh, to put together and, and see. You got the belt buckle. And then we got his shoes. And like I said, they are rubber, which is cool. I'm fine with that because you really don't want to see the joints and all that stuff. But very cool. Nice detail. And I really love how this comes out. I think I'm going to have to get the individual horseman because he comes with the skull head at the end of the movie. And he comes with two severed heads as well. So I'm definitely going to have to pick up the individual horseman figure. And I think I'm going to have to, you know, I think I'm just going to have to pick up the whole line if I can find them. Because uh, you have one, you, I, you might as well have all of them. So definitely got to get Ichabod. I think he'll go good with this. Um, and then the individual horsemen. So I'm going to put these bad boys together um, in the set. And then I'm going to come right back. So stick around because this is going to be one cool piece when it's all together. All right, guys. So here he is in all his glory. Like I said, this is an old figure. So you have to be very careful. Uh, his hoof right here kind of broke off so i had to super glue it back in but other than that it's just it's an amazing piece i absolutely love it um the horseman does sit pretty comfortable on the horse and uh, i kind of have him how i have him set up was kind of where he's a little bit off the seat just because i kind of imagine if you know the horseman kind of it's kind of like when you ride a bike, right? You don't sit on the seat. Sometimes you kind of stand up on the bike as you're riding it. I kind of wanted to do the same thing with the horseman uh, with his, um, you know, riding his horse, kind of like he's lifting himself up and stuff like that. But like I said, this is a very awesome piece. It is so cool to see this thing out of the box and put together. Um, like I said, it, it's pretty old. It's back when Sleepy Hollow came out and uh, McFarlane was making these things. Um, but it's a very cool piece. You, you can see there. Let me kind of back up a little bit for you. But I mean, it's a pretty massive piece, you know, for a deluxe set. But it's pretty cool that, you know, you have the horseman with his, the little vignette, the display stand that, that he um, is a part of with him and his horse in there. Um, kind of, you know, when you put the horse in the pegs, like the horse is jumping over the tree and he's out to set up, to set out on his new target. And uh, it's it's very cool. Let me see if I can. There you go. It's a very cool piece. I mean, it's it's definitely a one of a kind. I'm I'm glad I was able to get this for Christmas and and all that good stuff. And you know, like I said, the tree, all these branches in the back just kind of add some depth into the figure. But I mean, overall, very cool. Highly recommended. If you guys can score one of these, definitely pick it up. 
Um, definitely one of a kind piece. And like I said, the Headless Horseman was always one of my favorite things. And uh, the fact that Todd McFarlane was able to make something like this, um, you know, is, is really cool. I mean, there's not too much, too many uh, Headless Horseman stuff out there, whether it's from Sleepy Hollow the movie or just Headless Horseman in general. And um, hopefully this Halloween for 2022, and there goes the hoof, um, 2022, I can get some of the statues and stuff that, they, that were coming out and all that good stuff. So... But yeah, this is the Headless Horseman from Sleepy Hollow and Todd McFarlane's uh, movies. And um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, it's a very cool piece. Uh, highly recommend to grab it if you guys can. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.